Hi, we're here today to talk about Palm Tech Complete. Palm Tech Complete is our newest and best version of Palm Tech ever. We're talking to you as a user of an older version of Palm Tech, and we're going to talk specifically about some of the changes and things about Palm Tech. So our agenda today will be to just do a quick overview of it, talk about the portal, talk about the report writer, and then the reports, talk about why Palm Tech Complete is a great choice for you, and what's next. For those of you who are using version 8 of Palm Tech, we do want to remind you that support for version 8 will end on October 2nd. So let's take a quick overview of what's new in Palm Tech Complete. Our new business portal is going to make managing your business much faster and easier. Our mobile app will make writing reports faster and easier. And our new web report writer provides maximum flexibility for devices, allows you to write reports anywhere. It also allows you to monitor inspections and make those quick changes when you're you know, reviewing easier. So we'll start with the portal. The portal helps you with managing your business by scheduling. When you schedule inspections, you can schedule them right on the portal. It helps you collect payments, get inspection agreements signed, and helps automate a lot of the communications that happen. With scheduling, you have lots of options. You set up your own services, you can set up your own inspection agreements, and you can have separate templates, separate agreements for different services. It tracks your client and agent details as well. When you schedule an inspection, a request is automatically sent for payment to the client. You can even resend that request in the field. And you can track the status of payment for all of your inspections. With your inspection agreements, it automatically sends the agreement out for an electronic signature when you book the inspection. We include an agreement that you can use or modify, or you can easily add to one you're using now. It's easy to track the status of the signature. And again, if you get on site and the customer hasn't signed the agreement yet, you can just tap a button and send an email with a, where they can click a link and sign the agreement electronically right there on site. And automated communications make things easier. It's better to communications with your clients and agents. It comes with default messages that you can use and customize. And you just don't have to think about sending these messages. When an inspection is scheduled, it automatically sends a confirmation email, the inspection agreement for signature, and a request for payment. The business portal is more capable. It puts all of your data in one place. It tracks your business data gives you route tracking for daily stuff, and gives you more notification options. And unlike previous versions of Palm Tech, you can now manage your team yourself. So as we look here, this is the dashboard. It tells me how many inspections I've scheduled this month, how many I've completed, how much payments I've collected, and how much is owed me. I see down below, I've got the route. I can see it. I can zoom in on it. As far as business data goes, I've got my accounts receivable. I can look at my revenue month by month. I can look at the number of inspections month by month. Look at my top agents by referral and my top agents also by revenue. And we have route tracking. This is available on the portal as well as in the mobile app. It tells you where you're going, when you're going there, and you can see the route between them. And we have more notification options. And the nice thing about this is it's something you don't have to think about. It just happens for you. Like I said, when you book the inspection, it sends that appointment confirmation. If you reschedule appointment, it sends another it sends another email saying it's been rescheduled. If people haven't signed the agreement or haven't si sent their payment, it sends a reminder before the inspection. So all these things happen, allowing you to spend more time focusing on doing inspections or managing your business instead of these administrative tasks. The report writer is different, but it's better. First off, you can write reports anywhere. You can use Windows, Mac, Apple, Android. You can use mobile devices. You can use computers. Everywhere you have, you can write your reports. Reports are faster now. We have less detail on our default templates, and 
We have it set up so you no longer have to inspect room by room. We hear from a lot of inspectors that doing the repeated detail from room to room about what kind of walls and what kind of floors and what kind of doors isn't really helpful in the overall inspection. Now, if you'd like to do things that way, you can. But now, if you just wanna call out the issues when you find them, you can use the location to identify where the issue is and not have to do all the rooms detail by detail. In the app, we have better navigation and voice command. Just think about it as you're walking around the outside of a home, you can tap a button and say, go to chimney, take your pictures, record it. And then as you walk on a little further, you see the driveway and you find something there you wanna record, you can just tap the button and say, go to driveway. It'll take you there. You can again, take your pictures, record your comments. And it just makes the overall experience faster and better because inspectors spend a lot of time navigating from item to item. Pictures are faster now. And this is another thing we've heard really positive things about. If you're on the roof, if you're in a crawl space or trying to take pictures in an attic, it's, you know, sometimes you want to take multiple pictures. In fact, a lot of times you want to take multiple pictures. And now you can just tap once for each picture. It makes taking multiple pictures faster and easier. We have more capabilities to edit photos and you can now edit video in the report writer. And one of the things a lot of you'll be happy to hear is it works great with teams. So if you have more than one person on site, it automatically syncs the data between them. So as you're working, the other person can see what you've done and they can see what you've done. Another great benefit of this is you no longer have to move files up to the cloud and down. It all just happens automatically. All of your data syncs automatically for you. There are now more tools in the report writer. As we mentioned earlier, you can send a signature or a payment request right on site from the mobile app. You can record manual payments on site. You can call or text agents or clients with a click. So if you get there and you need the lockbox code because the one they gave you doesn't work, you can just go right to the agent's details and text them right from there. Another new great addition is the ability to add or remove templates or services while you're inspecting. So if you get there on site and you'd see some mold and they say, yeah, let's go ahead and do a mold inspection. You can just add the mold template right to your home inspection template, have it all in one place and one delivery. You can preview reports easier. Just go to a button, tap it, and you can see what your report will look like. As we mentioned earlier, we do have now have voice command. And like I said a moment ago, everything is auto-synced. You don't have to copy files anymore. You're gonna love that part of it. You do have more control over things now as well. So now, instead of assigning a rating to a line, you can assign ratings to comments. You can put pictures with. This just avoids the question of why is this in the defective summary? Because you had two comments on the same line. Now you can have a defective comment and a maintenance comment on the same line, and only one of them will go to the summary. You can use a location to indicate where comments apply. It's very easy now to add other information like maintenance tips to your templates. There's an easy place now for nameplate pictures. So when you get to the furnace, you just tap a button, you can take a picture of the nameplate and it's added into your report. And now you can easily add attachments to your inspection. So if you have maintenance tips or information you want to include when the inspection sent, you just go to attachments, add it, and it, you, it'll be in your inspection when it's delivered. The interactive reports. For those of you on version seven or eight, we now deliver reports in an interactive method. And we've made improvements to the interactive report from version nine to Palm Tech Complete. They're easier to read on mobile, and this is a big change. More reports are read on mobile devices now than they are on computers. So you want a report that's easy to read and easy to use. There are more navigation options to review the report. Clients and agents can use the request list option to create the inspection response. And for those of you who have switched, many of you told us how much your agents appreciate being able to use the request list to create the inspection response. It's faster, it's easier for them, and your agents will really appreciate it. 
And for the consumer, it's much easier to share the report with an agent or friend or relative. You just tap the share button and you can send it to anyone you want. Palm Tech Complete is a great choice for you. It gives you easier business management. Your inspections can be faster. It's all built on new technology. And the reports are better. Your clients, your agents will really appreciate the new reports. So what's next? If you sign up for Palm Tech Complete, you can take advantage of a special offer because you are a previous purchaser of Palm Tech. For a limited time, you can get Palm Tech for only $25 a month. If you're not sure, you can sign up for a free onboarding designed specifically for people like you who are coming from older versions. In the onboarding, they'll help you bring your templates and comments over into Palm Tech Complete from the older version. And from there, you can just do, start doing inspections. You get five free inspections with your Palm Tech Complete trial that you can use for full inspections and see how it works for you. So now let's take a look at the software and see Palm Tech Complete in action. We'll start off with the portal. Here's the dashboard we talked about where you can see the inspections and the information on it. We don't have a route yet because we haven't scheduled anything. We'll schedule our first inspection here in just a moment. Here we can see our calendar. You can see the inspections you've got booked. And here again, you see your inspections. And here you get the nice, it's nice because you can see the status. You can see what's been published and done, what's been scheduled, what's in progress. Here you can see the different agents. Here's a listing of all your agents. And if you want to find somebody, you can just simply type and find them and see, okay, they've ever given me 35 agents. I'm a pretty good referrer, aren't I? So. Templates, this is where you'll edit your inspection templates. It's right here, it's easy to do now. These are the different notification options you have. And here you have some business reporting. So you can see your inspections, you can see different information. And then if I go up here to my profile and click on settings, you'll see here, here's where you set up all the different settings for your different things. Like you can change your address, put your logo in, do different information. Here's how you get paid. This is where you'll set up your payments if you want to do payments with Palm Tech. Here's where you set up all your services and your fees, where you manage your team. This is where you set up your inspection agreements. This is where you sign up and change your billing plan. And finally, you can, here's where you customize your reports. And this is where you would import your data from previous versions of Palm Tech. So here we're going to go back to inspections and we're going to start a new inspection. So I'll click on new inspection. I'm going to say we're going to start this inspection at one o'clock. And I'm going to say it's one, two, three, some street. I'll click on next. I can pick my client. I can either add a new client or I can just pick someone who's already there if they're already in the list. I'll pick my favorite agent. Next. And now I'm going to choose, I have three different services set up. You can set as many up as you want. I'm going to pick a standard home inspection. This one's a little further out than normal. So I'm going to add a driving fee of $25. So you can add extra fees or change things or add discounts if you want. We're done with this, so I'm going to click on Schedule. And it schedules the inspection for us. So now I can see, okay, well, my Sum Street landed here somewhere in Connecticut. Let's go to the inspections list. Click on it. And here I can see some more details about it. We were talking about here. Here's where you see the report. Here's where you can preview it. Here's the different activity. This is what was sent automatically. The confirmation email was sent. And here's the notification emails that were sent, including here's the confirmation email. Here's the signature required email. And so from here, I'm just going to go ahead and open up the report writer. Now, this is a web version of the report writer. We also have a mobile app that we'll look at in a minute. 
first thing I'll do is just add the cover photo. And that's done. And from here, here you can see here's where you can review your inspection. You'll see all the things that you put into the summary. And I'm going to go straight to grounds. And I'm going to start off with the driveway. So I'm just going to click on the description, choose concrete, and we're ready to move on to walks. With walks, I'll also choose concrete, but I'm going to also add a quick comment in to say that the concrete is pitted and chipped. Here you can see I could add some media and add a location, but for now we're just going to move on back to grounds and I'm going to move on to steps and stoops. The steps and stoops is a little more involved, so I'm going to click on it. I'm going to say it's concrete and I'm going to add some pictures in. So here I'm going to choose the stoop and I can see that here's a picture of the stoop. It's got a crack in it. Add an arrow. Pointing to the crack, just to make sure people see what I want them to see. And you can see that's how you add pictures into the Web Report Writer and add decorations in. Next, let's take a look at the Palm Tech Complete app. To do that, I'm going to hand it over to Lisa. Lisa, why don't you show them the app? Let's take a look at Palm Tech Complete on the mobile app. So here we're looking at our inspection screen. We can see that we have any inspections scheduled here. Just tap on the one you want to open. And on this screen, you can scroll through and you'll see your client and agent information. Um, if you need to contact them, one of my favorite features is you can just tap on contact and it will pull up their contact information so you can call, text, or email them right from the app. If you scroll down, you'll see your services, your fees, and your agreements. If you enable payments with Palm Tech, you can go ahead and collect your payments electronically and you're going to be able to see right here in the app if they have paid or not. Here we can see like our agreement and it's not been signed. So if you tap on send, it will send it out to your client again so they can sign it. Let's go, um, go ahead and go back to the top and we're going to open the inspection. So we're going to just tap on edit so we can continue where Will left off. You can see on the app that grounds is um, partly shaded here. And that is just telling us that there's some information that's already been filled out in that category. So let's take a look at that. We can see that the info that was filled out um, on the web report writer that already shows up here. And we can now just pick up um, where it was left off. And that was at the fences and retaining wall line. So let's say we don't want to inspect this or maybe there wasn't a fence to inspect. So you can you have a couple options here. You can either leave it blank and it's not going to show up in your report. Or if you want to, you can delete it. So if you want to delete it, we're just going to tap on the menu in the upper right corner and then go to edit lines. And then we're just going to delete the line. For the porch and patio line, um, we're going to give it the description untreated wood and let's go ahead and add some pictures. Another big improvement is how fast and easy you can take multiple pictures at once. So you can just snap, 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 and you can see that I took three pictures. And then when you're done taking all the pictures you need to, you can then just go back and edit them all at one time. Um, so go ahead, and let, we're going to crop this photo. And then now let's add some text. You can move it or resize it. Um, you also have options to ha use a different color if you'd like to.
We're going to give it a comment, damaged or deteriorated, and then give the rating requires attention. Now you can also set it up in the template editor that every time that you mark it with this comment, that it will automatically give it the rating requires attention. It's really easy to do and it does save a lot of time to set up your default ratings. We've also added in some breadcrumbs at the bottom for navigation. So we can just simply tap on the categories breadcrumb. It'll take it us back to our categories list. And that's a look at how to fill out some information on the mobile app with Palm Tech Complete. Once you're finished with your whole report, you can just tap on the back arrow at the top and then you're going to mark complete. And then once it's done processing at the bottom, you'll see a message that says inspection published. And then at the top, you can see your published status has changed to published and it gives you the date. That's all there is to it to send in your report out from the app in Palm Tech Complete. Let's take a look at a published report. So this will be the, the sample of the report that your client would receive when that email goes out when you mark the inspection complete. And you can mark that inspection complete on either the web report writer, or if you're using the mobile app, you can do it on the mobile app. It's just as easy on either uh, device that you're using. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the sample report. So here we're on the full report tab at the top. We scroll down, you'll see the cover photo of the property. You're going to see all of the details from the property, um, the client information, your um, inspector, everything like that. You can click on the additional information to see um, the additional information about, you know, the temperature, the inspection date, all of that good stuff. Scroll down further, you're going to see your definitions, and then you're going to get into each category. So you can scroll down through here, see each category, any pictures that you took for those. Um, if you click on a photo, it will enlarge it for you so you can see it larger. And if there's more than one picture on a line, you just hit the arrow and you can scroll through them. If you want to go back, just click the X at the top. And then you can quickly go to a different category by just clicking it in the list on the left hand side if you wish to. Um, the second tab here at the top is your summary. So if we click on that, we can see any things that we sent to the summary. If you want to extend those, just click the little arrow and it'll show you any photos that go along with that. So just click on it. And again, if you have more than one photo, you could click the arrow to scroll through the multiple pictures. The next tab over is your media tab. So this one's going to have all of your media. So any pictures or videos that you took and they are all separated by category. So these will be whether they were um, deficient or if they were just pictures of, you know, just kind of reference photos you wanted to take. All of your information will show up here under the media tab. The next one will be your PDF. So it does still create a PDF. You can download it. You can print it. Um, you just scroll down through here and you'll be able to see the whole PDF. And this last section here will be for attachments. So if there's any um, extra PDFs or anything else you want to send out with a report, you can very easily put them in there as attachments. If you want to send this report to someone else, they would be able to just click on the share report and then be able to send it out to, you know, a family member or another agent or whatever. They can just hit the share report and send it out. If they want to contact you, they can just click on the contact us button and that will get them um, information to contact you. And then this last tab is a build request list. This is something that agents are loving. So if you just click on this, it's very, very easy for them to go in there and on your findings, um, create a list for maybe things that they want to have a credit or a repair done for. So here we're seeing anything that was marked with requires attention or safety is showing up here because that's what we have toggled on. So they can just scroll through and very easily just click on it and add a comment or add a um an amount that they want to add to it. Once they add in um, an amount, that will show up here. And then they can just go ahead and hit a preview if they want to see what the, the full uh, printout would look like, or they can create that request list and then send it right off to the, the selling agent. And that is a quick overview of the interactive report. Thanks, Lisa. That takes us to the next section, which is questions. 
I know that many of you have questions and I've been in a lot of meetings and talked with a lot of you about Palm Tech Complete. And so we're just going to deal with some of the common questions that we're hearing as people start to use it. Of course, the very first question most of you have is, will I be able to bring my current templates into Palm Tech Complete? And the answer is yes. We will help you get your templates, no matter what version you're on, moved from that version into Palm Tech Complete. Another common question is, who do you use for payment processing? And do I have to use them? And the answer is, we use Guardian Inspection Payments. Their system is fully integrated into Palm Tech Complete, which means when you use Guardian, it tracks your payments, it keeps it notifies you in the app and in the portal when payments are made. All the communications are automated and automatic. Um, that's the best part about using you know, Guardian. If you have a payment processor that you would prefer to use, there's nothing in the system that would stop you or prevent you. You can just turn off payment requests and use them as it is. I will let you know, though, that Guardian has great rates and they are, they're so confident that they'll be able to, to match or beat your current rate that they'll pay you $500 if they can't. So they're definitely worth checking out. Another really common question as people start to use the system is why don't I see ratings on the lines? We talked about this a little bit earlier, but we now assign ratings to comments instead of to the line itself so that when we have different comments on the same line, we can have the appropriate severity on those comments. So comment ratings are now in the comments rather than on the line. Another common question is, where's the NA option at? So there's a couple of ways to answer the question. Number one, we did, we did remove the option to NA lines, but the same thing can be accomplished much easier now. If you don't fill out a line, it doesn't appear in the report. If you prefer to remove lines that you don't want, you can edit and simply delete the line like we showed you in the live demo. Finally, we have a new option, which is you have the option to create optional lines in your templates. So you can have optional things like a pool, for instance, in your home inspection. You can add a pool as an option so that when I go to add category, pool is an option. Or if fences are something that you only rarely inspect, you could add fences as an optional line or mark it as optional. And then it's not in by default, but you can easily add it in just by going to add a line. Another common question is, how do I add another? Like for instance, bathroom, how do I add it? In the previous versions of Palm Tech, you had the button to add another bathroom. Now you don't, you don't have to. In fact, we're suggesting you don't need to inspect room by room now. Instead, you call out when there's an issue and you use the location to identify where that issue is. So you don't have to record all the details of each item. If you prefer to inspect that way, and if you prefer to inspect bathrooms individually, you can still do that. All you would do is just add a new bathroom in when you want to add a bathroom. Another common question is how do I edit ratings? And now with the new Palm Tech template editor, and that's contained in the Palm Tech portal, you can edit ratings. You're not limited to one rating set. You can have different ratings in different templates. And you can edit all your templates. There's no save as template option. You simply go into the template editor and make your changes there. How much does it cost to upgrade? Palm Tech Complete costs $50 a month for a subscription. It gives you all the services and everything. As a user of a previous version of Palm Tech, you're eligible for a discount for a limited time where you can get Palm Tech for only $25 a month. Give us a call, ask a question. We're happy to help you. Love to get you set up with it. We'll remind you that that's a limited time deal. Thanks for taking the time to watch this. We're excited about Palm Tech Complete and we know that once you start using it, you will be too. If you have more questions, contact us. We'll be happy to help. If you're ready to try it out, go to our website and click on free trial. Thanks and hope you have a great rest of your day.